Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. I am continuing with SharePoint online series and in this video we will learn about SharePoint hub site. What are hub sites? Why do we create it? How we can configure it and how we can use it? Now the SharePoint online as the Microsoft suggests, SharePoint hub sites help you to meet the needs of your organization by connecting and organizing sites based on projects, department, division, region, etc. Meaning if you have two, three different divisions in your organization and if you want a place where all the divisions can come and collaborate then HubSite would be a good candidate for this. If you want to plan it and how you need to read more about this you can visit this URL and it has a very comprehensive write-up about the hub sites. So here create a hub site, remove hub site, set up design and everything is there. So in this if you can uh, see in this GIF file uh, you see this are hub sites like this orange are hub sites and these are communication sites and these are team sites now as it starts you see these big wins and ICMA sales are associated with EM, EMEA now it was sales now if you make a collaboration site you can directly communicate this EMEA uh, sales to this sales also so that sales people can go and communicate so it's very interesting you can read it more about this and if you face any problem you can comment it below i can make another video because this would be a comprehensive topic because on sharepoint online if you structure your site that would in the long run it will be very beneficial so how you can structure it depends upon how your organization's hierarchy is how they collaborate and how they function so that depends how you can make the uh, how you can uh, make the SharePoint hub sites. So how you can make it? I can uh, go to my tenant and I can go to site, active sites, and I can create one collaboration sites with the name test hub. So let's get, let's create test hub site. And yes, this owner would be my test user. And uh, advanced settings, nothing, everything I will leave and then I can click finish. Now you see I have in the previous video I have changed the settings to give the manual storage limit so that's why it was enabled otherwise it was disabled in the previous videos. Now I have created this test hub site it should be visible here now if I click on this here you can see hub I can click on the register as hub site now I can click on this and I click like this and I can click on save. So site is updated as a hub site now if I go and click on this site and you can see this is my communication site and this is my test hub site now if I want to associate another site collection another site collection to this hub site how we can do it if I want to uh, associate this com test one to that hub site I can click in here I can click hub and associate with a hub site if I click, I have only one hub site here. So test hub site, I can click in here and I can save. So you see it's associated here. Now this hub site is here. Now I can add a link of that our communication site which I have given. Now you can click on here. And you see our test hub sites and com test one is also there. Uh, if I want to provide the link of it, I can click on here and here add links and in the link I can add here and I can write com test one com test one and then OK and then save. Now this is this was my communication site you see and here I have associated this com test one in this hub site. So this is my hub site. This is and similarly you can add other links with the similar things. If you want to add any team site as well, you can associate that. Suppose I have this team site as well and I want to associate the team site to the hub site. Now this is my team site. I can click on here and hub associate with the hub and then here test hub site and then save three steps. You create a hub site, you associate other site collections to that hub site and then you provide the link. Uh, now if you can check 
in here in the hub site test hub sites it is also associated this is the hub site only and this uh, team site is also associated with the hub site once you have registered your team site with the hub site you can add the link of the team site to the hub site so i can open the hub site and then i can edit from here and then from here i can add the link of the other team site so i can click on here and then this is my team site i can copy the url of this team site and then i can paste it here and i can name it my team site and this was my communication site so i will write it my communication site now you can see i have I have created one hub site and then I have associated one communication site and one team site with that hub site. So if on any of the sites you will go, you will find this communication, this uh, navigation links. So this is my hub site. Here I can see all the communication uh, on all the navigations link. This is my team site. If I reload this page, you will see I can from here I can go to my hub site also, my communication site also, and my team site also. If I go and click on the communication site also i'll see all those links so you see hub site my communication site so from my communication site i can visit my team site and it will open in that context and then from in i can go to the, my communication site also and my test hub site also if you want to remove deregister a site from the hub site suppose i want to deregister this this test this team site from the hub site what i can do is i can click on here and i can click on hub and i can change hub association so i can change click on change hub association and if i want to like associate this team site to another hub site i can do it or i can click on none and i can save it now you can see on the hub site it is uh, this test hub association was removed yeah, if you want again if you want to associate it you can click and associate similarly you can do it yeah, if you face any problem please do comment in the comment section below i will try to answer your questions and please do like share and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and have a great day thank you so much